because I think we can build better products, we can move a lot faster, we can make better decisions. And so that's one of the challenges. So I was in Vegas um, with a great friend and mentor and also a client who's been with us for over five and a half, six years now. You know, I want to do a daily video and he goes, that's great. But how do you gamify it? Category is for A. The point of gamification is to appeal to our natural affinity for achievement, competition, and showing off. How about Family Feud? I'm like, that's great. And then he's like, you could be T. Harvey. The first thing you do when you realize your wife is mad at you. <laughs> Instead of Steve Harvey, I'll be T. Harvey. Lie. Lie. Family Feud is definitely what it's gotta be. Um, I love the real estate facts around there. I, I think I think we got something cooking here, gentlemen. Woo! All the took was a few cocktails, a trip to Vegas, and yours and mine is cranking. Keep them coming. Keep the ideas flowing, baby. Let's go. So can we get people engaged? I think so. Will it be fun? That's what people want. Anytime you can make it interactive, I think team members find more enjoyment in it. They learn a lot better. I mean, it's about selling the experience, right? That's what I'm, to me, it's, that's what I'm all about, the experience. Like, you're not sitting around, how was work, honey? Great, great. Um, how's the utility bill doing, right? It's not part of your culture, <laughs> right? So is, is there a gamification there? It's creating that culture and creating that experience, that, yeah. Build the tallest freestanding structure using the materials in the kit. The entire marshmallow must be at the very top of your structure. Peter Skillman introduced a design challenge called the Marshmallow Challenge. And the idea is pretty simple. And the fundamental lesson, I believe, is that design truly is a contact sport. Uh, it demands that we bring all of our senses to the task and that we apply the very best of our thinking, our feeling, and our doing to the challenge that we have uh, at hand. And sometimes a little prototype of this experience is all that it takes to turn us from uh, an uh-oh moment to a ta-da moment, and that can make a big difference. I knew it. That's why I took a picture. Well, we, we deserve the measure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I always say we're in the best opportunity right now, Sky Slope, but also, you know, Fidelity as well. And it's a perfect marriage because you could take tech and you could take reach and their expertise and marry them together for just an, a great experience for, for partners, for, for lenders, for consumers, for real estate agents, for brokers, for, for all of them. And so. You know, we want them to buy into the vision, you know? We want them to understand where we're going um, and where we are. I mean, any organization should communicate to their, their customers. It's important that they understand the vision. It's important that they align with the vision. You know, think about Tesla. You know, Tesla's a great example. I read the book, I read the vision, I was inspired. I listened to the earnings calls. I, I, I've bought in stock since, since my very first time reading the book. I watched YouTube, I watched the interviews, I follow them on Twitter and watch what's happening. I watch what the SEC says about them. DJ and I both went to the Tesla factory and watched how they made it and heard the whole story about how they got the machines in there and what they had to do. We're bought in, to say the least. How do we take my type of energy and passion towards Tesla and, and get our users to have that same type of energy and passion towards Skyslope. It starts with communication, starts with a clear vision, and then you have to execute. You can have a clear vision and, and, and you can communicate, but if you don't get, the, get it done, it doesn't matter. So I think execution plays a huge part of that as well.